Yo, what's up guys? Old School Dan here, back again with another video. I'm sitting in my backyard on a chair, sunglasses on. I don't know why I have sunglasses on, but it's not that bright out here. My calves are so damn sore. I don't know why they're so damn sore because, I mean, because I skipped a couple days to train them. But anyways, this video is about how to build a silver era physique. I have my own system that I follow and I'm gonna teach you right now on how to do it. All right, so first step is train like them. Train like a silver era bodybuilder. It only makes sense. I can't think of a correct analogy to describe it. I mean, let me put this in the input in context. Let's see, try, you wouldn't build a Nissan the way you would build a Toyota, right? That only makes sense. The fastest way to build a Nissan is to use Nissan plans. The fastest way to build a Toyota is using the plans for your Toyota. It does. It just doesn't make, it's just a lot easier if you just did exactly what they did. Like say you wanted to build a body like Arnold Schwarzenegger and say you lived around the time when Arnold Schwarzenegger was born, he was in your gym and you're like, hey Arnold, what do you do for bodybuilding? Or if you wanted to build a physique like Leroy Colbert, you would talk to him, he would tell, tell you exactly what to do on how to build a body just like his. That It makes sense, right? So first of all, train full body, all right? It only makes sense. You know what, you could also use a split routine system to build a silver era physique but i just think the easiest way and the fastest way to do it is just to just train like them right it only makes sense george eiferman alan stefan um steve johnson the video i just make did full body routine Jules bacon john farbonic they all did full body training steve reeves reg park it only makes sense okay that's the way i did it <coughs> and it just makes sense second of all you should be more concerned with what your health okay that's what they focus on. They focus on their health. That's what they really care about. Lira Colbert always said, um, you know, we train for health. Don't sacrifice your health just to look better. That's just, that's not an authentic silver era physique. Those guys, I believe most of them were natural. Some of the silver era bodybuilders, like, you know, this excludes, you know, like, you know, Don Haworth or like Larry Scott. Uh, you know, I would consider Larry Scott a silver era bodybuilder. But I'm um, definitely Don Haworth as a silver era bodybuilder. But he took um, Layla Stop. It's my doggy. Um, Don Haworth was like a silver era bodybuilder, but he took Dino Ball. So that that takes him out of the picture. But most of the silver era bodybuilders did not take steroids. <clears throat> On top of that, they weren't so massive. So if you were to try to build a silver era physique with steroids, it wouldn't look right because you'd either be too big, too striated, too much, um, too many, too much veins. You know. And just your body fat would be lower, but you could try to balance it out with, um, with you know, up in the body fat. It could give you that look, but it just won't be that authentic. You know, a lot of the guys they didn't take steroids. They had a higher, naturally higher percentage body fat, full dense muscles, and they had that natural look. So if you take steroids, is it's not going to be real. I mean, on top of that, I don't even recommend someone to take steroids either way. You know what I'm saying? Just don't do it. It wouldn't be authentic, and I don't think it's a good idea anyways, okay? So the last one is follow what I created, what I call the three pillars of a classic physique. So you're going to be trained for symmetry, aesthetics, and proportions. This means you must give, you must have a proportionate body. You got to have the big calves that match the nice legs. You got to have the, um, the arms that match the back and the shoulders. You got to have the wide shoulders, the wide lats, the tiny waist, the vacuum, the big calves. You gotta have the aesthetics, you gotta have, you know, you gotta have a, a body that people wanna go down. When people are at the beach, they fall, like they, like when Steve Reeves walked down the beach, a whole crowd followed him. They were like, damn, I would love to have that type of body. He had the aesthetics, unlike Phil Heath, those type of bodybuilders, they don't really, have, they, <coughs> excuse me, some people would con still consider that aesthetic. I don't, I don't think that's a body that is appealing to everybody. I think a body like Steve Reeves is definitely more appealing. I think that's more aesthetic. Um, but that's just it. You gotta follow the three P's of a classic physique. The three, three P's of a classic physique. The uh, is that what I call it? The three pillars of a classic physique. Sorry, I made a video on that back then, so I'll try to link it right here in the description and right here in the video. That way, you can get more detailed version of how to how to achieve those things. You know, the symmetry, the aesthetics, and proportions. And that's really it. That is literally the lifestyle of a silver era bodybuilder. They train full body. They train for health, and they train for you know for the aesthetics and the competing part was the the icing on top now a golden era bodybuilder is different you know that type of physique i isn't really attainable attainable naturally like a physique like sergio bray sergio olivia oliva 
sorry, I forgot what it is. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Frank Zane is the only exception that can possibly be achieved naturally. Dave Draper, other those, those other guys, Bill Pearl, not attainable naturally. Okay, so usually that that type of physique you use steroids for. Okay, it has a higher, it has a lower body percentage. There's more mass involved, and <clears throat> and they probably use steroids just so just for the competing part. Okay, so their lifestyle was. Um, somewhat training for health uh, trained to look good and trained to compete whereas the silver era bodybuilder was trained for health trained to look good and competing was the icing on top and also the type of training for a golden era bodybuilder is entirely different there's more volume involved and in what those other things so yeah i'm pretty sure i i gave you the formula to build a classic uh, silver era physique that's what you really need training full body training for your health be concerned be health orientated be concerned about your health rather than the aesthetics don't sacrifice your life just to look like a god for a couple years you know it, it's not worth it the whole point of us of the whole point of, of bodybuilding or even working out or fitness itself is longevity so that you may live longer you're able to function better and can't think of another one, but you get what I'm saying, right? That's exactly what Leroy Colbert says. We train for longevity, for health, right? And the last thing, you know, they train for the aesthetics. They wanted the, they wanted to uh, kind of like a lot. I feel like a lot of the people of the old school era they got uh, inspired by um, Charles Atlas, you know, the guy on the beach when they kicked the the sand in the face. A lot of people wanted that to look <coughs> look bigger. So they wanted the aesthetics. They wanted, you know, the big body, you know, the wide shoulders, the, the the wide lats, the big chest, the big calves, the big legs, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I gave you everything you really needed. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I still got my coffin getting over it. Shout out to the guy who said, "What's up with your coffin?" Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm getting over my cough pretty soon, so now you won't be able to talk shit. Um, but yeah. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask me any questions. You know, leave them in the comments section below. I am also gonna be, actually I already came up with a video on how to structure a full body routine. I'll probably link that right here too. Cause you, a lot, I know I made a post like this on Instagram and a lot of people, I got a lot of questions on how to structure a full body routine. So I'll probably link that right here. So that way you have all the tools that is necessary to just get this going, to build your own silver era physique. It's getting pretty popular now. So yeah, with that being said, leave a comment if you got any questions, subscribe for more videos like this, give this video a thumbs up, thanks for watching, I'm Osco Dan, I'm gone, peace.